So I'll go ahead and check in now with Jeff Ray. He's got a first look at the forecast. Hey, Jeff. Yeah, there in Egypt, you know, we get our spring storm season. That's the, that's the season for sandstorms in spring in Egypt. They get about four or five a year usually. Let's take a look. In Frisco, we have the flags flying. They've been showing a brisk south wind through the course of the day. Right now, 78 degrees. Temperature's not too bad, but the dew point, oh, 67. Very humid air in place. This couple of days of south wind will pump up the moisture. That certainly has been the case here of the last 24 hours. We've had the humidity really increase. It's been a breezy day, cloudy day. It looks like it rained any minute. There's been a little bit of light rain here and there across the metroplex and other areas, but temperatures have been pretty much held in the upper 70s to around 80 degrees in urban right now thanks to all this cloud cover that's been around through the course of the day. Now, if you're heading out this evening, uh, the hour-by-hour hour forecast shows the temperatures getting down into the 70s, kind of where they are right now, upper 70s, and we'll continue with this small chance for a little bit of a passing shower across the metro area. The next three days, we are expecting more in thunderstorms. Now, tomorrow, kind of a duplicate day, a lot of clouds. We have temperatures a little warmer, another breezy day, but this is a chance of thunderstorms. It really shows up tomorrow night, late in the overnight hours and Thursday, and there's even good chances of rain on Friday. Though on the other side of a cool front, it should be a little bit cooler. The satellite radar view shows a lot of clouds around and a low cloud deck at that, but it's up north where the severe weather is. It's going to be the first tornadoes of the seasons. The season in Kansas and Nebraska and Iowa, they haven't had any tornadoes yet this year. But look at the tornado watch that are over in that area. That's because of this upper level low that is still perched out to their west, and that's where the severe weather risk is in relationship to where this is. And then what happens is this upper level low drops a little bit further south and gets a little bit closer. So that's what happens to the severe weather risk. It gets a little bit closer, a little bit further south. So you can see that starting tomorrow, really tomorrow night up to midnight, we run the risk of severe weather, scattered severe weather as possible, frequent lightning, strong winds, even some large hail, golf ball size hail is possible with these thunderstorms. But you can see this is the risk on Thursday, and we are dead center in that risk. So Thursday looks to be the stormiest day in store for us. Now we got a few passing showers still to get through, not only tonight, but tomorrow as well. But an active dry line comes towards us tomorrow, and that's the severe weather risk. It looks like overnight it rolls into the Metroplex, and this is probably just the first wave. We get another wave Thursday afternoon. So this is going to be an active weather pattern for us as we cross into the end of the work week and get into Friday. The weekend looks on the most part mostly dry, be some heavy rain possible in our southern counties.